So I'm about to head off to Legoland and I haven't been there for about 10 years. It's definitely not my thing. However, it's a family day out. And when my family said, do you want to come? I was like, why not? So I've taken the day off work. My mum reckons a hell of a lot's changed in 10 years. It's got much better. So let's see what it's all about. I'm going to take you with me and we'll see whether that's true or not. So we live two hours away from Legoland Windsor. We traveled up on a Friday and thankfully the roads weren't too busy, so we didn't get stuck in any major traffic. But the journey still took two hours from Essex, just as we expected. As we drove in and saw all the Legoland signage and little characters holding up Lego pieces, my niece, who's just four years old, started to get very excited. This brought back memories of when I was younger and we got really excited as you drove up to the car parks. I filmed all of this on a cross between a selfie stick and a tripod, so we grabbed a quick selfie before we headed in to see what it's all about. As you go through to the main entrance, you get a cracking view across Windsor, and you can actually see Windsor Castle and even Wembley Stadium in the distance. This is always nice for me, but not so much for the kids. But there are some characters and fun things for kids to play around with as you first go in. Again, my niece was so excited by this stuff and it was difficult to get her attention for even five seconds. As you go from here down into the main park, the little details such as instead of stairs, down what could seem quite a tedious walk, there are slides and little play areas. We all know what it's like trying to get anyone under the age of eight trying to move somewhere swiftly. It's a nightmare. But these little touches reminded me of the level of detail that the team behind Legoland put into the whole theme park. We then got to Legoland itself at the bottom of this hill. To be fair, my mum was right. There were some new bits, and it was definitely better. I don't remember London looking like this when I came here last time and it definitely wasn't positioned there at the start as you go in. I lived in London not so long ago, so it was enjoyable for me to look around and although it's a much smaller scale obviously, it really brings back memories and it is genuinely educational looking around this stuff. You can get a feel for the places and their atmosphere without even needing to go there. And I wonder how much John Lewis and Waitrose spent on having one of their trucks there. It's great advertisement to be fair. There are moving parts such as the cars driving round, boats moving, other machinery, and my favourite bit, because I'm a proper geek, is the London tube system. And all of this stuff brings everything to life. You do get carried away and you forget you're actually in the UK, but then, you look in one of the rivers, and we've still managed to get a packet of skips in there with some other litter. We are one of a kind, us Brits. I know it might seem silly to say, but I've never been outside of Europe, but looking around things like Las Vegas, or India, or China, you still get a sense of what it might be like there with the music playing in the background and the signage, it teaches you about it. It's definitely my favourite bit this. It always was and it still is now. And it is even better than it was 10 to 15 years ago. And it was really good then. We then headed out of the Lego land part and into the other areas. And we queued for this terrifying roller coaster. We were in the queue for about 15 minutes and I'm very impatient, so I did get bored of the long queues there for every ride. But it was a good excuse to sit down for five minutes on this side. We then stopped for lunch, and we didn't eat any of the Legoland food, so I can't give you a review on that. But Mum made some absolutely banging pork and apple wraps. A nice one on the flapjacks too, Mum. They were 10 out of 10. I can tell you from looking, the food and drink prices were very fair. For example, a Costa is like £2.50, £3, 
you don't pay a premium for being here, which is always a nice touch. We then got on a slow boat trip, which bore the life out of me. Again, my niece enjoyed it. Then it was time for her to go on the little Lego cars in an attempt to get her official Lego Land driver's license. Me and my sister used to love this bit. Still just the same, but for the little ones, it's still just as good. My favourite moment was watching her get in the slipstream of this little lad in front of her, then overtaking him on the outside lane, cutting across him to make sure he couldn't get past her again. Legend. We then queued for what seemed like another half an hour to go on some extremely boring slow boat ride around. Then as our feet were aching from all the walking, we sat down, watched this pirate show and had a coffee, which was very good. And as there was so much seating around, there wasn't any queuing and there was no trouble finding a spot to watch the show. Unfortunately, there were some areas that I couldn't film, even though I expressed to the team that this would go out on my super famous YouTube channel. They weren't having any of it. Those bits were actually my favourite bits, such as the inside laser shooting game where you sit in this car and then you get an interactive gun and these yellow light targets appear. You shoot them and it gives you a score on the front of the screen in this car. We went on this twice and surprisingly I won both times. What can I say? To you it might seem that there's not that much included in this video but surprisingly we were there for six hours in total and as the park shut at five o'clock we didn't actually get to see all different areas. I guess that's a good thing as I definitely want to go back and see the rest. So, my conclusion is that it was way better than I was expecting to be fair, and I did actually enjoy myself. You do pay a premium to go to Legoland, and I think it was about £35 for an adult ticket, but I wouldn't mind paying that because it means that there is a certain type of person there, and I always give something a score out of 10 because then you can get a sense of what I really thought the whole day. And if I was to score it out of 10, as in Legoland as a whole, I'd probably give it an 8. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.